Hi there folks, Andrew here at Chatfuel. Today we're gonna to be talking about Instagram ads and how you can use them to promote your Messenger bot. Historically, in the past, I've always advised against doing this just because to me as a user, it felt like a disorienting experience, right? If you're on Instagram going through your newsfeed or scrolling through stories, you don't wanna be annoyed and redirected to a different app, in this case, Messenger. But due to popular demand, this ad format has become increasingly popular. And so I wanna show you how to do exactly that. So we're here in the Facebook Ads Manager. Obviously, this is the dashboard that you use to create any sort of ad, whether you're promoting it on Facebook, Instagram, or any other platform. And for the consideration here, for the objective of the ad, just like as if we're running a click to messenger ad in the newsfeed of Facebook, we wanna choose messages. And now a lot of these steps for click to messenger ads are going to be similar to what we're doing here for Instagram ads. So you probably don't need this video if you've done this before with click to messenger ads, but there are some actionable tips here and there that you should find useful. Great, so we've selected messages here. I'm not gonna go into the weeds of split testing or campaign budget optimization here. If you are more advanced, feel free to set those up. Let's click continue. For the message destination, as mentioned, just with click to messenger, we're going to choose click to messenger here. We're not creating a sponsored message in this setup. For the audience targeting, it's totally up to you, whatever demographics best reflect your customer. That's up to you, so I'm gonna just gloss over that for the sake of time because it's different for everybody. That's part of the art of running Facebook and Instagram ads. And the main part of this tutorial is in the placements module right here. Obviously, we're going to choose edit placements because we want to create these specifically for Instagram. And so as a result, I'm going to deselect Facebook as well as Messenger. Great, so we have that all set up. Now we have a couple options here for running these ads on Instagram. What I would probably advise off the bat, especially if you're A-B testing, is just to use the Instagram feed option right here. If we highlight this text, you'll see it gives us a preview of what that looks like over here. So at the very baseline level, I would deselect these other options here and just run these in the Instagram feed. Again, if you're split testing, you can use this as your control group, if you will, and then create other variations where you check some of these other options and run them to see what ad type performs best. But I'm going to skip over that. Again, it's totally up to you. There's an art to this, but I'm just gonna show you the basic setup and workflow for this Instagram ad that will connect to Messenger. Great, so we have all these options selected now. These are the three that you can choose from. And again, if you highlight over, you can see a preview of what that will look like in context of the user experience on Instagram. It's also worth noting something really cool that Facebook does here because Facebook owns Instagram is that it will only serve these Instagram ads to people who have Messenger installed. So you're not wasting any ad spend by serving these ads to people who don't actually have Messenger installed and will just get redirected to a faulty URL essentially. So now that we have all that set up, we can scroll down to our budget and schedule. Again, this is a variable that's really up to you, but I would say it's best practice to start with a small budget like five, 10, maybe $15 a day, see how the ads perform as they're served gradually over time. And then once you see what those results are, and obviously again, if you're A-B testing, you can get a better picture of this with statistical significance. Once you get a better picture of what's performing best, then you can scale that up and obviously double down your ad spend on those best converting ads, depending on what your goal is. Great, so we have all this set up. I'm going to then click continue. Now is where we set up our identity. In other words, what Facebook page and Instagram page do we wanna run these ads from? So in this case, I'm going to select the Andrews demo bot page. This is where my messenger bot is connected, very important. 
and then also the Instagram account. In this case, I'm not going to use an Instagram account. I'm just going to create an ad specific one that will run this ad on Instagram. In other words, it will mirror the same details and profile picture of my Facebook page without having to create an Instagram specific account. So I'll do that for simplicity. Obviously you can connect a real Instagram account if you so choose. And then let's scroll down here to the actual ad setup in terms of the creative. I'm just gonna go with single image or video here. Again, this is up to you. This video is not a comprehensive tutorial about how to create the most engaging and visually appealing ads. Instead, it's just how to set this up logistically. So I'm gonna skip through this, but what I will show you how to do is the ad setup here and specifically the messenger setup. So for the ad setup, let's just choose a stock image here. I'm going to search for ice cream because let's say we're running this ad on Instagram, we're prompting people to take an ice cream quiz that will ultimately give them the result of what their favorite ice cream would be for this ice cream shop, let's say. And then once they're in Messenger, they'll get that result. We can segment them and then send them to a Shopify store, for example, where they can purchase that and ideally convert. So let's use this image right here. This is pretty visually appealing. I'm gonna click continue and it'll give us a preview down here of what this will look like in the feed as well as on stories. So awesome, looks pretty great. I'm not gonna include any text here just for the sake of time. You get the idea and can customize that to your own liking. But let's scroll down now and here is the bulk of this tutorial, right? How to actually connect the Instagram ad with Messenger itself. So we're going to choose this start conversations module right here. We could choose the lead generation option as well, although that's another whole tutorial and video in and of itself. But since our goal here is to drive people from Instagram to chat fuel, meaning Messenger where they take this quiz, we're going to choose the start conversations here. Essentially, they'll see this Instagram ad, they'll get redirected to Messenger, we'll start asking them the first question of that quiz, they'll go through, get the result, and then ideally purchase on our website. So that being said, let's click create chat here. We're going to first get rid of all these frequently asked questions, that's not what we wanna do and I would recommend using buttons here. Quick replies essentially work in the same way, but buttons are the most reliable call to action here. Sometimes quick replies for some reason don't display on ads, and obviously that's really problematic if you're paying for people to go through this quiz, meaning they can't actually accomplish that goal. So let's customize the opening text here. Again, to give context, this is what people will see when they go from the Instagram ad, clicking that to Messenger, this is what they'll see. So we'll continue to leave it customized with their first name, hi first name, and we'll ask the first question of this ice cream flavor picker quiz, if you will. Uh, do you prefer chocolate or caramel? All right, we'll give that a second. This is laggy at times. Great, so hi Andrew, do you prefer chocolate or caramel? Great, this will be, let's say, the first of three questions we'll ask to determine what their favorite ice cream flavor will be. And then we'll use the buttons here, right? We'll give them two options, either chocolate or caramel. So I'll type that in real quick. We'll add another button down here, caramel. Perfect. And then we want to switch the action from open a website to send a post back. This will enable us to, instead of just redirecting the users to a website, send them to a block in chat fuel where we can segment users, include more rich content than is just available here using buttons. And then now let's hop over into chat fuel for a second. I've already created two corresponding blocks here where depending on their response, they'll get sent to the next question and then we can move on from there. So all we have to do is create these two blocks depending on what response they provide, which I've already done. And then we'll go back into ads manager and we'll type in a short phrase here, all lowercase block space name, a colon, another space, and then the name of that corresponding block. So in this case, chocolate, the block name part is case sensitive. So notice I've included a capital C there. And then we'll do the same for caramel block name, colon, 
caramel case sensitive. Okay, excellent. If we wanted to, we could add emojis here, but we'll just stick with this for the time being. Also keep in mind, you could, if you wanted to, send both of these responses to the same block, but I'm sending them to different ones. So again, we can use attributes to segment that user, and then that will help influence what their final result is for their preferred ice cream flavor. Okay, so we have all this set up. Now, if we want, we can click preview in Messenger and show you from start to finish what this will look like after they've clicked on that Instagram ad, whether it's from their news feed, stories, or the explore tab. So I'll open this up. Hi, Andrew, do you prefer chocolate or caramel? I'll click chocolate and then it will continue the quiz from there, go through all the options and get to the end. So that is essentially how to set up an Instagram ad here. Obviously, there's so much more you can do. This is just the, the base level understanding of this. So if you want, as mentioned earlier, you can also use features like split testing in Ads Manager. You can also do that within ChatFuel itself. And ultimately, you can try to convert people, get them to buy your product. That's the whole goal here of using ChatFuel for e-commerce. One other feature I would mention that may be relevant as well is in the Grow tab here, we've recently added this Cart Abandon Reminder tool. You can connect this with your Shopify store, and this will allow you to easily track, in terms of dollars, how much money you are recovering, how much sales you are recovering using this tool in ChatFuel, which is amazing. It's super simple to set up. As you can see here, there's just three steps to it. You can get it up and running in 10 minutes or less. So check that out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and let me know what ads you plan on creating and how you can use Instagram and Messenger to your advantage to achieve meaningful business results. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video and happy botting.